This is Gene Key, KDD Texas News. KHOU.com reports from Lubbock. Three people have died after an accident involving a bicycle and an SUV. The Lubbock Avalanche Journal reports that the crash happened around 1 a.m. Sunday near Texas Tech University, killing two people in the SUV and the bicyclist. Another person in the SUV was hospitalized. Investigators believe the SUV was traveling south when it went over a center median curb and collided with a bicycle that may have been crossing the street. The SUV hit a fire hydrant before rolling over. The Associated Press reports from Harlington. Police say a man armed with a metal bar or pipe has been accused of attacking three fellow residents at a South Texas assisted living facility. The Cameron County Sheriff's Department says 28-year-old Brandon Schmidt of Harlington on three counts of burglary of a habitation. Bond has been set at $150,000. Schmidt was arrested Friday at Villa Residential Care in Harlington. Details on Schmidt's employment at the facility weren't released. KRGV-TV reports all three victims are women. KHOU.com reports there is growing outrage among Houston's black community over another case of alleged police brutality, this time involving a woman under 5 feet tall. Annika Lewis, 26, claimed Sunday several police officers punched her in the face when she tried to record video on her cell phone and later snatched her memory card. She said several officers were beating her husband after a traffic stop. The officers allegedly involved in the incident were all white. The incident happened less than a day after activists held a town hall meeting urging residents to videotape possible police brutality in their neighborhood. If you would like the latest Dumas Panhandle and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD Texas News.